Hi guys, today Black Horse Viper again. Uh, we're flying on six kilowatts, but it's very interesting flight because uh, it's a maiden for 3D printed landing gear. Uh, a lot of you guys were asking me in comments and in emails uh, to show exactly how did I do the 3D printing printed landing gear for Odyssey. So I I thought that I will design and make a a landing gear for a Black Horse Viper. I did only the main gear because I didn't have time enough to, to do the front. But the idea was first to increase the size of the wheel to the maximum size of the wheel well, which is here it's 82 millimeters and it fits perfectly. So the wheel is much bigger. And also, also I saved uh, almost 20 grams of weight on each leg comparing to the the aluminium one that I that I designed and made, made and uh, almost 50 grams comparing to the original one that came with the with the jet. So I saved on both of them 100 grams, which is great. But the main main idea was to increase the travel of the arm. So on bumpy runway like we have here. Uh, the, the leg will be playing, it will be working, instead of bending the, the connecting pin between the, the mechanics and the leg and the landing gear, uh, because I had constant problems with that. It was bending and it was, it was just a lot of trouble. And uh, I know it was the, the, uh, the landing gear for Black Horse Viper, it's pivoting a lot, but not enough for, for a strip like this. So I, uh, and I measured, I think, the, the, the travel of the wheel uh, with the original landing gear is actually modified original that I was using was, I think, three and a half centimeters or four, don't remember. And this one has six or more than six. So I, am, I increased it a lot. And of course the wheel is bigger, so there will be less drag uh, because the bigger wheel is always better. So this is very nice and uh, the design is super simple because I, I thought quite a long time how to design it to, to have it simple and reliable and, uh, and strong. And the de design is very simple. It's just a straight arm or a straight leg with the spring in front. And here we have one simple hinge with the fork holding the, um, this, I don't know how you call it, the, yeah, the fork again. <laughs> Uh, and, and that's it. You just have to adjust the thickness of the spring and the length of the spring, a number of winds for your application. This one has, uh, has an acceptable load of, I think, six kilograms maximum. So at maximum compression, both landing gear uh, compress 12 kilograms, which is great because this jet is uh, eight and a half. So even if I touch down quite hard, it will bounce nice. Of course, it, it, it increases gradually. At the beginning, it's way less, so it's it's kind of soft. And this is this this is printed in PLA, and I purposefully didn't paint it to show you which PLA I used for the Odyssey. It's exactly the same green PLA. I just painted it with black paint, black, black spray paint, and this silver rim to look cool. But in reality, it's just simple PLA. The wheel is a single wall, 10% infill, and just this uh, outside para parameter is uh, double wall. So it's super thin and super fragile. And in Odyssey it worked, I hope it will work here also, because the diameter is the same like Odyssey, but uh, the, the thickness is less, so it's, it's more slim. Yeah, I think it will work. And then the infill in this part and this part is 100%. So it's, uh, it's full, fully, full inside, but I printed it in 250 degrees and the printer was enclosed uh, in the box. It was 35 degrees inside, so the, the layer adhesion is very good. You can also print uh, PLA in higher temperature if, uh, temperatures if you want to have it stiffer, like 280 degrees or 290 degrees. I do it sometimes if I want to have a product really, really strong. Okay, so this is it. This is one novelty <laughs> about this jet, which is interesting. Of course, we're flying 14S again, but we have another thing which is interesting. 
<laughs> we will have two flights today. One with cheater holes covered like I used to fly. The sound is amazing, it's super nice. But the second one, I will uncover the cheater holes, I will remove the, the duct tape. And underneath, I designed a special net. It's like a net, like a, like a filter, which is designed to create jet sound. And I will ask you in the comments to comment which sound is nicer. With this uh, hose opened, the jet is way louder. It sounds, it's like much, much louder. And it's different sound, it's, it's kind of deeper. So I wonder, what do you prefer? I have my <laughs> preference, but I won't tell you now. <laughs> uh, flying again on uh, just two sets of 14S. So 14S, 14S, uh, so totally we have 14S, 8,000 milliampere hours. We are using 6,000 out of it. Stabilization receiver, GPS, and all around 13 gram servos, which were working nice. I hope they will be working nice as well in this flight. And, uh, and six kilo landing gear mechanics from JP Hobby. So this is it. Jet is eight and a half. I hope everything will be fine and the maiden will be successful because I printed it very, it's kind of uh, on the light side, this landing gear. I had an idea that I want to have it fragile, not, not fragile, not like lighter, but still not breaking. So I hope the design is good. Okay, let's fly.
174 kilometers per hour. Landing from the left, I changed my mind. Gear down. High rates. Changing to high gyro rate. And I have to 6,209 milliamp hours. Flaps full. 101 kilometers per hour. 103 kilometers per hour. 89 kilometers per hour. 82 kilometers per hour. Okay, so uh, we are not flying the second flight. I'm sorry guys, uh, because the, the landing gear survived and it performed marvelous. I'm very pleased uh, because, uh, you know, the runway is not really even and smooth and it was working perfectly, but I printed the wheel too light. The single wall is not enough, so I will print today with double wall uh, because the, the wheel just broke. So you can see it's, it's kind of broken at the, during landing, but I will repair it here. This one is broken too, but this is fine. The landing gear works, which I'm, I'm very pleased with that. So it's good, uh, but unfortunately we will not fly the second flight and the weather is so nice because we don't have spare wheels. <laughs> so we, we, will, uh, we will record this sound effect of jet, uh, of this cheater holes next time. I'm sorry guys, but this flight was quite nice because I give you the parameters of the flight. We at takeoff, because it's hot, so the batteries are hot and everything is hot. We at takeoff we had 6.5 kilowatts, just two batteries, 130 amps, nice. Uh, seven minutes flight approximately. Yeah, yeah, seven minutes. And the top speed was 250 kilometers per hour. 250 kilometers per hour with GPS, so it was fast and we were not diving so much. It was very fast, so, so it was a, a pleasant flight, a pleasant day. Okay, thank you so much and I hope to see you next time.